As experts work to revive the stricken coal-fired blast furnace that's taken Whaler Steelworks offline for more than two months and counting, owner GFG Alliance has a vision that remains green and bold. It is set to see in the dawn of a green industrial revolution. The company wants to spend half a billion dollars on an electric arc furnace as part of plans to decarbonise its Whaler operations by 2030. That electric arc furnace project will absolutely you know, lock in the, the future sustainability of the, of the whale still making business. The federal government has committed $63 million to GFG's green steel vision. The South Australian government has conditionally earmarked $50 million too and wants GFG Alliance to be a key customer for the hydrogen it plans to produce at the power plant it's building nearby. We're doing it there for a reason. It's alongside magnetite resources and it's alongside a steelworks. We want to decarbonise steel. If you're the first one to decarbonise steel, it's a path to prosperity. They're heading down this path with GFG Alliance owner, British businessman Sanjeev Gupta, who faces global challenges. Since 2021, British authorities have investigated some of Mr Gupta's UK companies for suspected fraud and money laundering. GFG also owes almost 900 million Australian dollars to the administrators of collapsed finance firm Greensill Capital. The company says it signed a new agreement with its creditors and insists its Australian businesses aren't exposed. And the Whaler Steelworks isn't the only GFG plant offline. The company's Czech Republic steel plant, Liberty Ostrava, has been down for more than seven months over an electricity bill dispute. That plant is also waiting on an electric arc furnace, but the company behind the build, Danielli Group, has suspended work until GFG resolves its financial dispute. Danielli says work is progressing, though, on the electric arc furnace for the Wyala Steelworks, a commitment SA Energy Minister Tom Kutzentonis wants to see for himself when he visits the Danielli factory floor in Italy. I want to eyeball Danielli. I want to know where, where it's up to. How far away is it? Where are we with integration, engineering and design? How quickly will it start construction? All concerns not shared by the Wyala Steelworks Managing Director earlier this month. The arc furnace, the green steel vision is fully embedded and progressing. Um, as you just mentioned, the, the electric arc furnace uh, contract was awarded um, last year and uh, the design and engineering on that facility is progressing. Back at Wyala, with the current coal-fired blast furnace still offline, residents endure amid a cost of living crisis. With many of the plant's 1,100 workers on up to 30% less pay until the steelworks works again. Sanjeev Gupta has been the saviour here once before, buying the steelworks in 2017 after it went into administration. But as he promises a massive investment to make green steel, and at the same time comes under increasing pressure to repay debts around the world, there's a real tension here in Wyala and concern about if he can be the saviour once more. You know, you've got lots of words, but you've got to act on that as well, so, and you're not really seeing that at the moment. I mean, ever since he's come here, he's just of false promises and nothing's ever got done. Like, that company's falling apart out there. Wyala's mayor says there's national ramifications. As a sovereign nation, COVID showed us we need steel that is produced in Wyala, because the steel we produce, long products, construction steel, isn't produced anywhere else in Australia. So it's vital to the nation, not just Wyala jobs, but the whole nation. So it's a waiting game in Wyala, with the stakes getting higher day by day. Harvey Biggs, ABC News.